Hello, welcome to tomorrow again. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you've not already done so. I want to talk to you guys today about the remaining six uh, zodiacs that I didn't cover in part one. This is part two. Um, those signs that I wanted to talk to you about are Libra, Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. And Pisces, sorry. Uh, let's start with Libra. I've taken notes. If you see me looking uh, down this way, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Um, let's start with Libra. Libra's main thing is to maintain balance. Libra cannot, will not function unless things feel balance to them it is the main thing that makes them stand apart from the other signs now my prediction for Libra is this toward the fall closest let's say between summer and fall is a very very good time for you to meet someone that will be of some significance in your life once again, don't look for anybody new. Just kind of be receptive to it. Pay attention to it. Uh, don't look for it. Let that person find you. Now, I don't know if this will be a romantic relationship or a platonic relationship, but somehow this person will benefit your journey. So kind of be aware of that. Now, the next sign is Scorpio. Scorpio is definitely a water sign filled with passion. Everyone that knows a Scorpio will describe them as very passionate. Now, sometimes a Scorpio um, can be sort of um, feeling like they've been slighted, especially in their childhood. They feel like um, uh, sort of the deck is st stacked against them uh, from the beginning, kind of like... Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to explain this the best I can, but Scorpios kind of feel like it's them against the world type type of feeling. And in so many ways, they are right because they have so much passion. They probably have more passion in their pinky than most of us have in an, in our entire hand. It's just the way uh, Scorpios are. Now, my prediction for Scorpio is kind of pay attention to your health, especially the possibility of an injury in the next 30, 30 to 60 days. If it doesn't happen, that's great, that's fine. Maybe because you listened to this video, <laughs> maybe it prevented an injury. Hopefully there are no injuries. And I don't see anything, uh, any type of life-threatening injury, although circumstances, the energy around circumstances varies from person to person. But just kind of be extra careful in your activities. Now, the next sign I'd like to talk about is Sagittarius. The thing that makes Sagittarians stand out from most of the other signs, Sagittarians are probably, I almost want to say the most luckiest sign of the zodiac. It seems like they can just get things done uh, very easily. Although they, they have some struggles in some of their endeavors, but they seem to always come up come out on top and that's a great thing for um, Sagittarians now my prediction for Sagittarians is this be careful what you say because even what you don't say I'll say it I'll say it this way make sure to listen when you're engaging in a conversation especially with a family member a younger family member try to really listen uh, you are a good listener, but do some extra listening uh, in the next 
you know, couple of weeks. Make sure that you are understanding what they are saying to, to you. It's very, very important. It's just the energy around your sign in the next couple of weeks makes me feel like uh, this is a message that that you guys should hear. So um, there is now for Capricorn, uh, you are an earth sign through and through. Be aware of the ground. In the next week, you just might find something on the ground, something of a little bit of value. Just kind of watch things. You, The next week, the energy around you says that you might find something of value. It, it may not necessarily be something that's on the ground. It may be something that's inside of a dryer or, uh, you know, some, somewhere like that. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be walking along and spotting something on the ground there. So just kind of watch out for that. Um, and um, Capricorn, be careful also and, and that you're not perceived as somewhat of a hypocrite. Be careful who you judge. Make sure that if you're judging someone else, uh, make sure that you're not doing that same exact thing. Sometimes Capricorns lose sight of their own um, fault. Uh, and that's probably the worst thing that I could say about Capricorn. You are a very genuine sign, a very genuine people. And sometimes you can be perceived as otherwise but deep down inside you're very good people now there's two kinds of Capricorns just like other signs one kind of Capricorn is the one that is sort of lackadaisical through early years and then as they get older they become more responsible or they could be responsible when they're young and become lackadaisical as they get older. So if you're one of those types of Capricorns, just kind of do some adjusting to make sure that you're like Libra, more balanced. Now, the next sign I want to talk about is Aquarius. Aquarians are known to be very aloof, very uh, nonchalant. It's very difficult for Aquarians to express how they feel. They can feel so many emotions, just as much passion and, and emotion as someone born in the sign of Cancer or uh, someone you know born un under the sign of Scorpio. But for some reason, Aquarians just cannot express uh, their emotions very easily. We're either happy, creative, joyful, uh, innovative, and I say we because I am an Aquarius, um, or we're just like flat and we want to be in our own sort of shell, our own sort of world. And uh, it's, not, it's not a great thing, but it is what it is. It is, it is part of what, des what describes an Aquarian. And predicting my own future, here I go. For Aquarians, I predict that you will get answers to some much needed questions. There's things that have been bothering you. I know this for sure because this definitely applies to me. Uh, the things that have been bothering you all these years or all these months, you will start to see uh, the answers to some of these things. Even if it's just through metaphysics, you will begin to see uh, signs, you will begin to understand the why behind a lot of conflict. Now, the next sign, the final sign is Pisces. Pisces is full of youth. They're represented by the fish and they swim freely through life. Uh, they can be kind of hung up sometimes on principles. They can be hung up sometimes on, you know, what's right and what's wrong, which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing. But for the people around Pisces, sometimes it can be a little annoying. But Pisces is a great sign, very intuitive, uh, probably the most uh, intuitive sign in the zodiac next to Cancer. Cancers are very intuitive. So my prediction for people who are born under the sign of Pisces is watch what you say. Watch what you say and the tone behind what you're saying, especially in the next 30 days. I mean, don't walk around on eggshells. Just kind of be mindful on how you are communicating with others. Now, this is 
tomorrow again. This is it. This is the final signs for the month. And I'm going to try to do this once a month, give you guys predictions based on your signs. Now, once again, this is my opinion uh, for entertainment purposes only. You cannot judge people solely by their zodiac sign. And I think we all realize that, but it's still fun to kind of pick apart and figure people out according to their signs. And the more you know a person, the more you can kind of relate to uh, certain aspects of their personality sort of coincides with their zodiac sign. This is tomorrow again. I'm wishing you guys the best of the best. And for everyone who is a new subscriber, I want to welcome you to my channel and I want to tell you everyone, all of my subscribers, uh, thank you so much for your support. I am literally almost at 7,000 subscribers. Man, it's hard to believe, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep grinding. I want to see 10,000 subscribers soon. I can't wait. The more people that watch my videos, that's the more feeling of camaraderie and I can build this channel and share with everyone. And I welcome you guys to please comment. Let's have a dialogue. Let's try to get an understanding of how metaphysics works, how um, uh, parapsychology works, things like that. And who knows, one day we might see some strides, some real big strides in figuring certain things out. Thank you.